The equitime point, ETP, also known as the critical point, is the point along a flight route segment where it takes the same time to either continue to the destination or return to the starting point. Imagine a flight route segment over water. Once the ETP has been calculated, it becomes an important factor to consider in an emergency. If an emergency occurs before reaching the ETP, returning to the starting point will be faster. If the emergency happens after passing the ETP, it will be quicker to continue to the destination. Let's consider a flight route segment that is 200 nautical miles long between point A and point B, with an aeroplane flying at a true airspeed of 120 knots. In no wind conditions, the ground speed is also 120 knots. This is the simple formula for calculating the distance to the ETP. The ETP is exactly halfway between A and B, 100 nautical miles from point A to the ETP. It would take the same time to fly from the ETP to point A as it would from the ETP to point B. Let's introduce a wind component of 20 knots blowing from point B to A. How does this affect the ETP position? If you continue towards point B, the ground speed will be 100 knots. If you return to point A, the ground speed will be 140 knots. As a result, the ETP shifts closer to point B since the time taken to fly from the ETP to point B at 100 knots equals the time taken to fly from the ETP to point A at 140 knots ground speed. The ETP will always be halfway in no wind conditions. However, when there is a headwind or tailwind component along the route, the ETP will shift upwind from the halfway point. The main difference between an ETP and a point of no return is that the ETP considers which option, continuing or returning, requires less time. The ETP does not take fuel on board into account.